on hand. It's my joy to be your host every day, every weekday, through from half past seven in the morning to half past uh, half past ten, and we're now into the new time of summer. Uh, with me in the studio, I've got James James McAreevy from the Newry Maritime Association. It's a it's a fairly grave moment in the history of Newry's maritime heritage because councils are about to change. The Albert Basin has been identified by the outgoing council and presumably by the new council as a saleable asset. Is that the way it is? Well, Rowan, uh, first of all, good morning and, and uh, thanks for the opportunity once again to come in and, and uh, have a forum here. Uh, and yes, last Thursday, Rowan, was for me uh, a defining day uh, in, in the activities um, that we're involved in regarding the canal and the preservation and promotion of the history of the area. Uh, we had two meetings last Thursday, which I think was the 23rd of October. One was with uh, Newry and Moran District Council Albert Basin Subcommittee mm -hmm. in Monaghan Row, mm -hmm. and that committee is solely uh, there to deal with uh, matters pertaining to the Albert Basin. And we were um, looking and asking about the future direction regarding uh, development of the Albert Basin site. Now, what we would like to see, Rowan, is social and recreational development of that 14 acre site for the benefit of the ratepayers of Newry and Mourne and visitors to our town. Mm -hmm. Now, let's just be clear about this. The owners of the property are the ratepayers of Newry and Mourne. They are. That's the true. custodians of that property on behalf of the ratepayers is Newry and Mourne District Council. That's right. On the 31st of March, that council will be dissolved and a new council takes over Newry, Mourne and Down. Yes. When we amalgamate with Down District Council. Yes. Mm -hmm. So on Thursday evening, there was a meeting in the museum, Bagnall's Castle, uh, to discuss the first draft of the corporate plan for the new dispensation. And it was chaired by the chief executive designate, Mr. Liam Hannaway. Yeah. Now, one of the questions that I asked Mr. Hannaway was, could he guarantee that uh, the recommendations of Newry and Mourne Council regarding social and recreational development of the basin would be carried through with the new dispensation? Uh, he answered no, he couldn't. That uh, you know, when the, when the council, new council uh, takes over, they will review their estate uh, and uh, such decisions as they may make uh, will be carried through. So it follows that were the council to decide, were the new council to decide that A, they would dispose of the Albert Basin, they have the power to do that. Yes. Or they could decide that they will develop it in a totally different direction. Mm -hmm. uh, now I have heard one particular council say on two councillor say on two occasions that it would be the preferred site for a civic centre. Well, that is something that we would not hold with at all. But your civic centre impl implies that there will be some building activity occur on the on on the area covered by the water. And sure, if they do that, the basin's gone. No, well, we're talking, Rowan, about the land site. The land site, site. okay. Four, 14 acres. Yeah. Well, what would be wrong with the civic centre on the land? Well, this, this parcel of land, as you know, is right slap bang in the middle of our city. Yeah. Right? We need a park. Mm. We don't have any green space right in the middle of the mm. city. It's bounded by two waterways. Yes. We're going to get the, the walkway to Victoria Locks. Yes. Uh, linking up with the, the southern pathway from Carlingford. Mm -hmm. We'll have the walkway through Fadham Wood. Uh, everything lends itself in that area to leisure activities, to recreation. Green is king. Green is king. 
Mm. And the people in this city deserve it. Mm. We are bereft of such features. Mm. Now, at this point in time, there's an umbrella group. Uh, I, I'm speaking, by the way, Rowan, for Newry Maritime. Yes, of course. I, I can't yeah. speak for anyone no, else. I understand that. Mm. But the umbrella group with Newry 2020, ourselves, Newry Urban young Sports. Men, young business folk and Very professional. Good lads. Good lads. And girls. And they have a vision. Mm. Uh, and, you know, there's, there's a, a plethora of activities uh, are been catered for oh, yeah, in, yeah. in their plan, yeah. our plan, mm. you know, everything from a marina mm. to a heritage centre to a skateboard facility, a park, mm. a total area of re yeah. recreational activity for a vibrant city. Mm. Mm. And no, it's not for a mini Stormont, it's not for rolling lawns mm. and the chief executive's car. No. and 300 other cars. No. No. There are plenty of sites. The, the, uh, there's a new industrial estate uh, has been cleared out at Charn Bain. The Department uh, of Trade and Enterprise haven't yet secured one tenant. Mm. I would say in Uri Moan and Down Council could be, the first, could be could their be first that. tenant. Yep, yep. No, because council, civic centres, they're grey places. They're places where numbers are crunched. There are places where talk, talk, talk goes on around tables. But, I mean, we have a place down there that lends itself to the sheer wonderment of the people enjoying the great outdoors. Not only that, Rowan, you know, you know as someone indigenous to the area, you know what the story was down there. Oh, I do. And that story deserves to be protected Absolutely. and to be told. Yeah. It is not... A the place, as you say, for people in suits talking about talking. No, it's not. Most assuredly not. And, and I don't think it would be a very welcoming place for the average five-eighths. Uh, no. There would be barriers that would come up and go down and you wouldn't be get through because of security, blah, blah, blah. But, I mean, we want to see it open. We want to see parkland. We want to see trees planted. We want to see families coming down with a their flag, boats. A flagship development Absolutely. that caters for everyone. Yeah. Mm. And that Newry would be known. I, I suggested, when they were asking about suggestions the other night, I said, you know, we should be marketing a maritime brand for Newry. Yep. Mm. We should be flying the maritime flag mm. because of the history that we yeah. have yeah. in this town. Mm. And, you know... It, does it, do you get the impression that... To some extent, the councillors are being dragged unwillingly towards a future uh, that involves the waterway. I then think, we, I we, think we, we lost sight of wh who we are and what we are. Well, I think you know that uh, a lot of these things uh, are decided on, on party lines. Uh, not so much what the individual thinks, but what the party's thinking for them. And that's why it's necessary this morning to ask our party leaders, come out and tell the electorate mm. where you stand regarding the future development of the Albert Basin as regards the rate pairs of Newry and Morn. I think, I think if I had an a open, gaunt, An open yeah. question. I think if I had a gauntlet, I would throw it down on the table now and I would support what this man uh, James is saying. Party leaders, this is about the future of an incredibly important area of our city. Party leaders to come out and give the party line on the development of the Albert Basin. And I know, Rowan, I know um, that you, you will make a, a forum available to them all to come either individually or collectively. I'm happy to come along and speak to them. We will, uh, we will press forward on this one. And it would seem to me, because this week we're doing a debate on Jennings Park, which could be the health hub. The same, same thing. Same thing there. People, the residents there want to come in and talk about it. But so at, the, at, at the end of the day, Rowan, I, I, I also can't um, emphasise strongly enough to your viewers this morning to wake up and smell the coffee. This is a very, very important period, and it's a dangerous period period in transition from one administration to the next, 
We don't want to fall between two stools. What we have, we retain. And the Albert Basin is in public ownership. It belongs to you, it belongs to me, it belongs to Rowan Hand. It belongs to everyone who contributes to the rates in this area. And we want to have our say and tell your elected representatives exactly what you want to see done, not what they think should be done. And it's time now for the people of this area to make their views known. It is no good, Rowan, being wise after the event no, no. or complaining afterwards and saying, why? Mm. How did that happen? Why was this not done? Why was that not done? Do it now. Good. You know, be, have your say, register your views, let your councillor know, be wise to the event. Thank you very much indeed. That's Cheers, as good Ron. as it gets. God bless you. Cheers. We, uh, we, we challenge the party leaders to do that. Speak out and tell us where you are in relation to the development of the Albert Basin. Time now for the adverts. Destination. You've reached your destination. Go!